Tap, tap, we were able to run. Their day started with boarding the police van, popularly known as Kasalanga. These are suspected members of the notorious Tokota Boys Gang being ferried from various police stations to the Kito Magistrate Court to face the law. Heavily armed police officers in four different vehicles gave security to the 19 suspects. The convoy meandered through the central business district of Kitwe, where hundreds of residents abandoned their businesses to line up the streets and cheer the police officers. The whole route was full of people who danced, chanted slogans and sang songs, praising police officers for arresting the Tokota boys. Security at the Kitu Magistrate Court was tight as dozens of police officers were deployed. The suspects were later ushered into court as they appeared before Chief Resident Magistrate Yvonne Naromba. Magistrate Naromba then told the suspects that they are jointly charged with three offences. In count one, the 19 are charged with intention to cause grievous bodily harm. In count two, they are charged with wounding or poisoning, while in count three, they are charged with kidnapping and abduction. The three charges arise from a video which went viral on social media in which the Tokota boys assaulted a 16-year-old teenager of Murenga compound who they later forced to eat his own fecal matter. Chief Resident Magistrate Nalomba later told the suspects that the three charges they are facing can only be tried in the High Court. She later adjourned the matter to 28th May for mention as the state awaits instructions from the Director of Public Prosecution to commit the 19 suspects to the High Court. During the court proceedings, hundreds of Kito residents followed the case from outside as the area was cordoned off by police officers. As the vehicle carrying the 19 members of the Tokota boys was leaving the Kito Magistrate Court, hundreds of Kito residents burst into celebrations. <laughs> The boys have been remanded in custody. Poor Shalala. ZNBC News in Kitwe.